welcome back to the Soapy Cauldron. Um, you will be pleased to know that this is probably going to be the last video where you actually see my face. I have a tripod ordered and I'm super excited so you can actually see the soaping process a whole lot more closely, which I think would be a lot more fun. Um, so today's video, I am going to be making Poly Juice Potion. It is a restock, and I don't think I ever filmed this video before, so you're gonna get to see the process. Um, so as always, the first thing to start off with is my oils and my lye water. So I'm gonna pour that in there. And again, I've been using a clear bowl so you can see the soap process um, a little more clearly, but hopefully my, um, my tripod will be in very, very soon and you won't have to watch me uh, anymore and you can just watch the soaping process. So let's get to blending. So the next thing we're going to do is pour this off into two colors and I actually have them ready right here um, In this one I have purple or orchid or chair. I never knew if I say that right or Orchard purple orchid orchid. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right orchid purple by nurture soap And then in the next one I have high society by nurture soap and it's like a greenish gold color So I'm going to pour half of the batter in each of those containers and then we'll stick blend them together. Okay, before I stick blend this, I'm gonna go ahead and stir it by hand just a little bit to get all that color off the sides and then we will stick blend it together. I just splashed it all over me. Lovely. Okay. Let's blend this together. Okay. It makes like a pretty grapey, purpley color. And I'm also going to um, restart just to make sure that I got it all mixed in because I still see some on this back side. Okay, and now we're going to work with the green. So again, just going to stir it up from the bottom first. Make sure it gets all off the sides. And not splash myself this time. Let's mix this one up. Okay, I think this one is also nice and blended. And again, I'm gonna restir it just to make sure I got everything off the sides. All right, so these two colors are blended nicely. Um, the next thing to do is add the fragrance oil. And the fragrance oil I'm using is by Nature's Garden and it is called Grape Happy Camper, no, Grape Happy Camper Candy. And it honestly just smells like grapes and I don't know why, but I just felt like Polyjuice Juice Potion should smell like grapes. So that's what I went with. Um, I haven't measured off exactly how much I need. So I'm gonna pour half in each of them and then just stir it by hand. And it really does, if you've ordered the Poly Juice Potion before, it just smells like grapes, and it smells, I think, really good, like grape candy, grape Jolly Ranchers. Any candy that smells like grapes is what this smells like, and it's just, I don't know, I really like it. I really like it. Grape runts, not runts, what's the, nerds? Grape nerds, that's what it really smells like to me. Grape nerds. So, stir in the sand. I kind of want to, I me. Mean, it's fine. Um, I was gonna say, I kind of want to put some more purple in it, but it's fine. I want it to look like the original, so I'll have to take new pictures. Um, so, that's it for that. Now we're going to pour it into our mold. 
Okay, for this one, I'm actually going to be making it a drop swirl, which I swear I just pour different layers over and over. So we're gonna start like that. And then we're gonna go in with the green. Okay, and then we're gonna go in with some more purple. Okay, and then of course more green, and then more purple, and we just keep layering it up. Okay, I'm gonna scrape out my containers. Um, and that is pretty much going to be it. I'm gonna wait for it to set up just for a few more minutes so I can um, do something to the top, nothing crazy, but I am definitely gonna split, split, spritz it with some glitter. Um, but for now, I'm just going to scrape out these containers. Okay, I'm going to tap it down to make sure all the air bubbles are out. Spritz it with some rubbing alcohol. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is once it sets up a little bit more, I'm gonna come back and kind of texture the top, add some glitter, and we'll be done. All right, we are trying something new. Finally got my tripod, so we are gonna to try to cut this soap with um, a new camera angle. So let me know what you think, um, but let's get started and cut a sample. Looks good. So, let me know what you're thinking about this new camera angle. I'm not sure if I'm getting it right or anything like that, but definitely let me know what y'all think. Because I'm interested to see like what I can improve upon. Always. But if you prefer to see me, then you know, of course, let me know. Um, but I just thought this would be better for when I film actual soap tutorials. You'll be able to see like a more up close process of what's going on. So, y'all just let me know. But I really like the way this, this uh, soap came out. It's not nearly as bright as the original batch that I made, which is fine, but um, I make notes every time I make a soap, and so I know that this soap needs uh, double the mica that I put in, so I'll know that for the next time I make it. I kind of like the muted colors, though, honestly. What do y'all like, bright colors or muted better? I think for this one, I like it just because the Polyjuice Potion was so ugly anyways, and this just kind of gives it a muted, ugly vibe. I don't know. <laughs> I do love this soap though so much. It smells incredible. It's probably always gonna be one of my favorites. And I love the pattern that the Drop Swirl makes with the two colors. It just looks so pretty. Okay, almost done. I think we have two, no, one more piece to cut, and then we'll have a really nice size sample bar. So, thanks for watching. <music>